we're with John Gwynn uh, to talk about the Michael Van Gerwen Mervyn King game. Uh, very solid performance from Michael. Yes, uh, as the game went on he seemed to get better and better. It took him a little while to get into it and even though he won the first set, uh, it was a little fortuitous I suppose. He, he could have won it 3-1, then he could have lost it 3-2. But he, he won the first set. It was a ding-dong game up until that vital last leg of the uh, fourth set. Um, it looked as though Mervyn King, who, who in that set averaged over 116, had four 180s and, a, and in the leg where he didn't have a 180 he had a 132 finish on the ball so um, Mervyn King threw absolutely superbly and yet the timeliness of the two 180s in one leg from Van Gerwen was sufficient to see him through in the decider and once he'd gone 3-1 up I always felt that he was the more likely winner and because uh, he did the same in the in the fifth leg of the next set which won in the game he hit uh, his fourth and fifth 180s and um, even though he missed darts at a double initially to win it he, he was given another chance and made no mistake delighted for him because I've seen him in the depths of despair having been knocked out of the UK Open at Bolton first round the world match play at Blackpool early doors and uh, you look at somebody in that situation and you can't help but feel sorry for them but it looks as though he's climbing back there were times in that match against Mervyn King where he looked every bit the Michael Van Gerwen who made a name for himself as a teenager several years ago there was also uh, just the fourth leg of that set as well where uh, Van Gerwen threw I think it was 85 to hold under pressure as well yes. Mervyn had a chance at a couple of doubles shots at the double and then uh, Van Gogh and held on 85. Quite a lot of momentum taken from that I think as well. Yes and uh, he's the kind of player once the game's flowing and Mervyn King allowed it to flow uh, it, it, it quickened up as the game went on as they get into the what I call the meat of the game it quickened up and I think that probably suited Van Gogh with more than uh, King although King threw exceptionally well. I mean to, to average over 100 you know and lose is 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 unlucky. Um, he's not the first to do it because Phil Taylor, of course, did it. John, fantastic! Thank you very much. Enjoy okay. your coffee. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm a tea man, actually. <laughs>